Hi everyone, this is Alex from ninjateacher.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about the first step that you need to take to get started teaching English in Thailand. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the requirements, what you need to get started, as well as going into the number one step that you need to take to get the ball rolling and get over here to Thailand. Okay, so right now I am at this rock quarry. They call it the Grand Canyon of Chiang Mai, Thailand. Uh, it's kind of cool, people are jumping off the cliffs into the water. We did it just now, lots of fun. And I just wanted to tell you a little story about what it takes to get over to Thailand. And something that happened to me, to me today that illustrates that. So what you actually need to do when you come over to Thailand to teach is get over here before you have a job. Now this is something that a lot of people have made the mistake of getting a job before they come over to Thailand and this is very different to South Korea where normally you get a job before you come over. However, it really takes getting over here and looking for a job to find a good job in Thailand. So what happened today that kind of illustrates the concept that you need to come over and make the commitment to just get over here whether you have something set up or not. So what happened to me was today we wanted to come here to this rock quarry and it's a bit outside of the, the city. It's outside of Chiang Mai. And I have never ridden on a scooter before. I've never driven one myself personally before today. So <laughs> we rented a scooter. I learned to dr drive it and I'm now here having ridden myself on a highway all the way to this rock quarry which is like half an hour like on a highway and stuff which is something I don't actually recommend you do <laughs> don't go on a highway like having never driven a scooter a day in your life before but it just kind of illustrates the idea that you really want to go and make the commitment and do something that is going to get you started with your your path and uh, getting over to Thailand specifically. So you've got to come over to Thailand to get started. So like I just decided to go ahead and learn how to drive a scooter and get over here, you got to make that commitment and decide it's something you want to do because you can't have it all planned out. Uh, unlike other countries in Asia where you can do that, Thailand you have to get over here and just do it. All right, so. What are the actual qualifications you need, the requirements? Well, you do need to be a native English speaker to get a job in Thailand. They want someone who can speak fluently. Having that, as well as a bachelor's degree, is a requirement to work legally in the country. Now, working legally versus not, there are some people who don't. Uh, they don't do it legally, they just come over on a tourist visa and teach. And that's something uh, it's possible to do. Of course, I wouldn't recommend that, but a lot of people do do it. However, if you want to get a, a job at a government school that's um, you know, legal and you're doing it properly, you need a degree and you need to bring your original copy of your degree over to Thailand. As well as that, you need the original copies of your transcripts for your degree. As for a criminal background check, that's something that's required in South Korea. In Thailand, it's not really required. But the thing about uh, the situation is you come over on a tourist visa and then you either get the visa, the working visa sorted by your school or you have to do a border run into another country and apply for it there. Now, sometimes they might ask you for a criminal background check at the embassy outside of the country. But for the most part, uh, I think most people don't worry about the criminal background check. Um, it's not something that is completely essential. You do also need a TEFL course and you know, for the, the majority of uh, schools want one of these. Uh, it is possible to find one, but you know, if you don't have a TEFL course, they might choose someone else over you. All right, so those are the basic requirements to get started. It's about making that commitment to come over and search for a job here. So once you've decided that, you've got everything you need to actually apply and get started, then you can come over to Thailand and search for a job. So stay tuned for future videos. I'm gonna go into more detail. This is the first in a, a couple of videos I'm putting out on Thailand that's gonna explain exactly what you need to get started and how to get started. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.